Good evening, everybody. I'm CJ Ward in for Scott Hennessy tonight. We begin at 10 o'clock with the Omicron variant impacting higher education. Private schools, including Stanford and Harvard, will move to online classes at the beginning of January. And as Fox 11's Tracy Lay reports, it appears that UCSB and other campuses will follow suit. This is the time of year when students can enjoy some downtime during winter break. Now they're concerned about deja vu when it comes to COVID. I just got texted this morning with like the UC policy basically shifting. And my first thought was that this is kind of what happened when we first started that it was going to be online the first two weeks and then we ended up being online for a year. Grad student Stephen Hu retweeted the Daily Nexus's tweet saying current plans indicate UC schools remain online until January 17th depending on the spread of COVID. Our media partner Newshawk confirmed the pushback is due to the Omicron variant. I'm a TA so I will have to teach online which is a disappointment because um, it's harder to teach online on Zoom. But in terms of my grad work, it won't affect me that much because I'm mostly just writing my dissertation. Reaction among students is mixed. I don't think it's inherently negative itself. I think there's good in it, but I do think that it's a bummer for students and their mental health to be online. It's pretty devastating. I think all the students really enjoy like engaging with their teachers and their fellow classmates and takes a lot out of the experience of being at school. Other campuses, including Cal Poly, Hancock College and Cal State University, Channel Islands are monitoring the situation. As for UCSB, the winter quarter begins January 3rd. In Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, Fox 11 News.